Hi, I'm Manny and this is my husband Darren and we're two dads and a kid. So we're yeah. at Lanseria International Airport this afternoon and um, we are busy scouting, scouting, yes. scouting, looking at different options for um, Jeremy's future career. He loves fishing on the weekend with you, yeah. but more predominantly what's coming out for me is his passion for planes and mm. flying and Exactly. That's Jeremy. Exactly. And let's not forget IT. I mean, he's always on his iPad. Correct. Um, it's not always playing games no. unless it's um, flight See, simulator. Correct. Or something like that. Yeah. So I do hope that parents today are um, attuned on what their kids like. Mm, mm. You know, I think a lot of times, I know I sometimes am guilty of that. You know, you're so rushed that you actually don't appreciate um, what your kids' interests are. You know, and how to actually stimulate it further, yeah, exactly. um, get them exactly. to grow. Jeez, and I think geez. this is what today is about, right? Yeah, exactly. Awesome. Identifying what the nearest um, flying academy is to us, what the requirements are. Now, at least we know that if you're planning, or your child is planning to be a pilot, 16 is the age that you need to start getting them involved. Yeah, exactly. Right? But going back to going back to Jeremy. Mm. Um, Coming here today and having a listen to what um, this is all about, I'd like to think we're well on our way to saving to get him to become a pilot because I believe it is quite pricey. How much? Just hazard a guess. What do you think the cost will be? Well, unless you know any better, I think it's about 100,000 Rand, maybe. 100,000? <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're smoking something really good and I think you need to share it with Why? us. Why? What? No, I, I was Googling recently just to have an idea of, of the uh, get a sense of what it is that we're into. Yeah. One of the best pilot schools in the world is out in New Zealand. Okay. Um, just to give you a bit of a sense of what we price we're looking at already, um, you're looking at about 150,000 New Zealand dollars. Oh, that's like one and a half million rand. Today. Today. So yeah. in 10 years time it could be, I don't know, about five, six, seven times that. Depending on... Or more. Inflation and exchange rates, exchange fluctuation. Rate, fluctuation. You know, the, the rand wow. isn't as stable as it used to be. Exactly. Okay, so right. I retract my earlier statement about us having enough money. Uh, exactly. We, we, we certainly don't. Um, but we yeah. need a plan. Let's well, we have a goal. We have a goal. We just don't have. I don't know. I'm not sure if we've got the right plan in place today mm. that will allow us to give him the career that he desires. Yeah. So I think what our next steps would be to is to find someone that can put the plan in place mm. um, with measurable objectives, someone that can help us plot this over the next 10 years and help us track exactly what we need to invest to get Jeremy to the point where he can go to pilot school in New Zealand. 